relationship between energy and power, and also how that relates to your electric company, sometimes mistakenly called your power company. You're really buying energy, not power. You probably already know the link between energy and power, and that power is how quickly energy is transformed. Power is the rate of energy usage. So I can rewrite that energy equals power times time if I want to figure out, based on an average power use and amount of time, how much energy is involved. So I'm just going to rewrite that twice. You'll see why. Energy is power times time. So I could talk a little bit about the units that are typically used for energy, and there's the units that physics teachers and physics students like to use, and there's the units that the energy company likes to use when they sell you electricity or energy. Um, in physics, the physics units we use for power are watts, which is equivalent to joules per second. And the units we use for time are seconds. And so our energy comes out to be in joules. Uh, your um, electric company, your power company, if you will, actually uses different units. In Chicago, our company is ComEd. Um, and ComEd doesn't use uh, joules as their designator for energy. They use their units. So this is the um, energy company units. And they use kilowatts as their base unit for power. And they use hours as their base unit for time. So not your standard physics units. Which means when you multiply those together and you get energy, the units for energy that they use is kilowatts times hours. People often say kilowatt per hour. That's not the correct it is. Kilowatt times hours, and that's a, a unit of energy, not a power of energy. So let's see how using these units can help you interpret your electricity bill and can help you figure out some, some ways to solve problems. I've got a couple examples here that I want to work through with you. They're related examples. Example one says you have a 600 watt appliance in your home and you leave it on for 30 minutes. How much energy did you need to purchase from the electric company to run that appliance? And then example two is related. We want to know how much it's actually going to cost you to run this 600 watt appliance for 30 minutes. So um, since we're relating to the electric company, we may as well use electric company units. Meaning we're going to want to convert watts to kilowatts and minutes to hours. Had we been doing um, physics units, we want to leave watts alone or joules per second alone and then convert those minutes to seconds. But this is all about the electric company, so we'll use their units. So for power, instead of 600 watts, I'm going to write 0.6 kilowatts. And for time, Instead of 30 minutes, I'm going to convert that to hours. That's half an hour. So if you want to know how much energy is used, now we have the, the units ready to go. We can just sum in. Energy is power times time. The power is 0.6 kilowatts. The time is half an hour, so the end result is going to be 0.3 kilowatt hours. That's the amount of energy required to run the 600 watt appliance for half an hour. And then secondly, we want to know, well, how much is it costing to run the 600 watt appliance for 30 minutes? So now we have to know, okay, I see how much energy I'm using, and certainly the more power and the longer you leave it on for, the more energy you're going to use or require. Um, now you got to know, how much is the company charging you for these kilowatt hours? Um, in this case, it says the electric company charges 10 cents for every kilowatt hour, and we've used less than one, so we're expecting probably less than 10 cents to run this thing. And so let's just figure out if I have, um, if I'm requiring, if I need, let's say, to buy 0.3 kilowatt hours, and it costs 10 cents for each kilowatt hour, then it looks like I'm really only going to be paying three pennies, three cents to run this appliance. Um, and again, we're basically just saying, this is the amount of energy we're buying, and this is how much each energy unit costs. Kilowatt hours is just a unit of energy.